Good morning, everyone. I was going to play some Life is Strange this morning, um, but I'm just not feeling... I'm not feeling with it enough, so I figured I would try and just do some Diablo. Um, yeah, Diablo 3, new season this weekend. It's something you pay attention to, or something I pay attention to. Okay, so... Um, now, to finish Chapter 3, I think all I need to do is obtain an Act 5 bounty case. So what I want to do is check to Act 5 and make sure there's no kill Malthale. There's a kill Malthale. So I don't want to kill Malthale. If this is still what it is, what I'll probably do is do the other four and then drop the difficulty down. No, there's uh, uh, Act 4. Five. There's no pandemonium for this, so let's go. Find the entrance to the tidal cave. I don't even. More fury. Why are health bars not Need showing? Time. There they are. I'm not doing very good damage with this build. A mighty foe has fallen. Not enough fury. Day one. An inexplicable tide fury. arose from nowhere, dashing our ship on the rocks. And now we are stranded. Could the old myths actually be true? Regardless, since our plan to study this infamous place was the talk of many, I am certain we'll be rescued before long. In the meantime, my research awaits. Say that now. I need fury. Going the wrong way. Well done. But not by far. Still recharging. <laughs> Transmog, okay. Cool. And West March Commons, I suppose. A tricky place to be. Plague tunnels. Which is both hard to find 
and then a long place to clear. It's always a painful one. There's a reason why Act 5, and I say this every season I'm sure, is the worst one to do and why being able to get Act 5 bounty materials from um, doing the Whispers, or not Whispers, whatever they're called, Whispers is Diablo 4, the portal things that open up. Not ready yet. I should also have opened up the um more fury. Need more time. I don't even know what I'm thinking. There's a reason I'm not playing Life, Life is Strange this fury. morning. Well, there's the plague tunnel, so I found them a little faster than normal. of both, commonly called the plague tunnels, were originally used to bury West March's indigent. However, when the Great Pestilence struck, the city decided the tunnels would serve just as well for plague victims, lest West March become overwhelmed by the ever-increasing piles of the dead. I need to kill all the enemies, so I can't afford to leave any behind, and I'm sure I have already. I need fury. Die! Okay, there's nothing down there. Great. So, very soon I'm going to want to change, like, as soon as I've done this, I'm going to want to change back to the full whirlwind, or the whirlwind build that is for this, not the full whirlwind build. And I don't know how I'm going to manage my fury. I, I don't understand the build well enough. So I did leave one mob behind. Hooray! There it is.
Pandemonium Fortress. Oh no. Okay. Well, I'll go back there and pick up the loot that it dropped, but this is something I kind of want to do. I just didn't expect the portal to open. It's not yet great for this, but I'm going to get my gold gem early, which is good. Not ready yet. For Kathos, guide by hand. Need more time. More fury. Still recharging. Gems are useful. The gold is nice at this level. Yeah, I just, I think, doubled my gold in one treasure goblin, so that's good, without having to get a puzzle ring. Taking out greed is going to be interesting. Your goblin gets away? Yes. I need fury. Yeah, maybe not. I grow in power. Wow. Okay. I did get my boon of the hoarder, and I got two mighty weapons. Nifty? but I need to go back to the Survivor's Enclave. Don't know what those mighty weapons are. Let's find out. They're both the same. Wow, 
wow, they. So if I equip both of those, I can't. But if I was to equip that and say that, my damage goes down on paper. I don't know how two-handed weapons work. This might have been a mistake, I don't know. Not enough fury. Hail to you, champ. In this place, once the crucibles are full, it is vital. both here? I can't remember this one. go back and talk to the ghost of Junella, okay? Okay, this two weapon thing seems to be doing well, possibly because of the abilities on the weapons. Thanks to you. I don't know anything about barbarians. Do you see 
see that enemy over there? Let us cleanse it from this land. Okay. Kill Adria, okay. To Adria! Finding Adria can be tricky. The ancients smile on me. I don't remember progressing slower than I have been this ever. I mean, not since like season started. This is a really slow start. I'm not sure. What is going on? Maybe it's just the Barbarian has a slow start. Maybe I just don't know what I'm doing. It's probably both. It's almost certainly both. And I don't think the mace that I got, by the way, is considered a class set item for being able to sacrifice for the altar. I can go check next time, I suppose, when I'm done with this, but I don't think it is. to ensure it he always finds a way in your heart of Not in hearts, Diablo 4 he hasn't you know this apart from in the name of the game it's the name of the game and we know it hang on that's not how that goes okay the you have finished So we go up, we speak to Hadrig, we go bang, 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 bang. Guardian set's pretty good. You learn Royal Amethyst. I really don't care about any of this except for materials. We figure out what the ring is. Pandemonium loop.
I don't want enemies fleeing in fear, so I don't want to use a pandemonium loop. So you just get salvaged, I think. You get put into stash. Now, the important thing here is I take the next Hadrig's gift. I get the boots and the shoulders, which I now identify. And then equip. Even though I'm not going to be getting the bonus from it. And I go effectively down. Well, maybe I don't. Well, I definitely equip the shoulders. But... Man! I'll equip the boots when I need the boots. So they absolutely go there. And the shoulders can go away. Now, I'm pretty certain that that does not count for this. And I do need to bring up the altar of rights. Yeah, it is basically what I think. So I'm pretty certain this does not count. I did not finish Titan Quest, actually. Um, I I struggled with bits of it and was just not enjoying it. So I n didn't actually finish Titan Quest. Um, there was one bit of Titan Quest that I really didn't like. I played Diablo 3 because I just enjoy Diablo 3. And really, Last Epoch replaced Titan Quest for me. Though I'm looking forward to Titan Quest 2. Um, when that comes back. Okay, so it is time for me to up the difficulty. Um, I'm going to change Try Torment 3. Which I, I don't know. I really don't understand Barbarian. I've never played one before. So I don't know what I'm in for. I do need to do... Bounties from this, so I need fury. The full capital guides my hand. Titan Quest had a really beautiful flow to it until I got to, I think it was the start of Act 4, and there was a boss at the start of Act 4 that I couldn't defeat. And I looked up on the internet, basically saying, what do I need to do? And the statement from the internet was basically, you need to be level... I can't remember what it was, but it was basically you need to be level... I, I had these numbers wrong, but let's say you need to be level 40. Um, I think it was 42 or something. You needed to be level 42 really to face the boss down. But when you get to that bit of the game, you're only at like level 32. And the response was, oh, what you do is you just run Act 3 over and over and over, like, you know, seven or eight times to get the levels you need to face the boss at the start of Act 4. And it was like, I... What? <laughs> um, and, of course, because the they don't actually level up the, the mobs or the loot, it meant that I was... I felt stuck. It was like, oh, just run this content that you've already done over and over and over to be able to see the next content. And it was going to be like double the amount of time that I'd spent in the game just to be able to defeat the next boss and it just felt weird um, and I know that's an ARPG thing but it, it just felt weird in that game to not be able to progress through the story I need 
fury. You cannot stand before me. And um, it's kind of similar with Last Epoch. So Last Epoch has an element, basically when you hit about level 70, where it's... Um, this is a, a thing we expect you to be able to do, and if you can't do it, stop playing. Um, and because there's no visual assistance to it at all, um, I just stopped playing. I'd noticed, thanks. I grow in power. Okay, expensive points, which I'm now getting a little faster, which is good. And face down the. Let's see what happens here. Okay. I can't pick up anything else. I need to go back. 
that was kind of cool. And I'm doing not terribly, not great, but not terribly. I got a restraint, which is awesome. Which I will absolutely put in here for now. When I get a focus, I will absolutely equip those. <laughs> no, I... I mean, while those braces look amazing, until I get an upgrade of the one that I'm using, I'm just going to do that for now. I'm going to spend my Paragon Point. And I come over here. So this will give me health globes. Right, cool. What's going on? What's going on here? Sacrifice any class specific six piece set helm. Oh, helm. Oh, good God. Some brand new goods you might be so how expensive is it to do the... I need 10 Forgotten Souls. I possibly got 10 Forgotten Souls, but... I bet they don't forgive a lot of things. And anyway, no one said you... Damn ball. Not what I would do, but when is that stopped you? That did not work. I never stopped looking for Kanai's cube. Finally, that... I learned that they had entrusted it to a secret society of barbarians. The last of these, Kanai, died in Bale's invasion of Seshron. His spirit guards I'll its get one at some point. That's crap. To it to me, but I know so upgrade rare item is what I probably want to do Kanai. to get them. Not enough to for Kathos, guide my hand! A lot of games that I start and end up going, yeah, I've played this enough. Like <laughs> The Witcher. I probably, I will, I do plan on going back to The Witcher, but I think I'm going to play it in basically story mode because I found the combat so terrible. It was just so not fun. And I know people consider it to be one of the best games ever, but the combat was. Still 
I, must heal. I can't even move. And this is the problem. I'm force moving and cannot get anywhere. I wish I could do that. Because all of these elites have waller and trap and I need fury. Returning to town. And you know, if a game stops being fun, I'll stop playing it. The Witcher stopped being fun way beforehand. People list it as one of the best story games of all time, and it's like, I, I don't see it. Just too much damage flying around for when you get absolutely Need trapped. So, be frozen, be trapped. Need to dodge this, need to dodge this. Meanwhile, there's multiple effects that slow you, freeze you. I wish I could do that. <laughs> this is dumb. Still recharging. I have been hit. Not ready yet. I must heal. I must wait. See, I don't even know what got me then. Like it was probably one of those effects on the ground that you can't dodge because if it's standing on the stairs. Like, all of this content is designed around the everything gets one shot. Okay, let's spend some more points. I could do that. Need more time. Die.
I can't carry anymore. Considering I'm not playing hardcore, I think this is a fine level. Because I've got a better chance of getting the items I need. Though, I'm not doing great with item drops. An Ingium. That is a weapon that I want to use for the main build I get. Probably want to use it for this as well, to be honest. How long did it say? Let's see how this goes. That looks good. That's Mortix Brace. And that one will go into my cube. In fact, I'm going to do that now. Assuming I've got enough death spreads. Doing okay, and I'll put the engine here. 
to be used later. I do, and I'm not going to get it. Still recharging. I'm just constantly feared and crowd controlled and Need to set helm like mad. I wish I could do that. I've been healed. I grow weak. Gonna die absolutely. I can't okay, unless that happens. I need to go back. I need to go back. Find. This is the problem with... It was always the thing... I mean, the whole concept of Last Epoch and their... Um, just don't pick up everything. It's like... It's okay... They did okay because they made it that you didn't, like, most of the stuff was useless. And leaving behind useless stuff is fine. But if everything had had value, then this would, that would have just broken me. Okay, so where was I going? I think I was doing... Oh, I got that at the end of Cemetery of Forsaken, which was cool. Go over here, and then we can go to Halls of Agony at level 3. Kill the Butcher. This will be interesting on this difficulty. With this build.
have another vision of enmity. Cool. Okay, that's this is gonna be messy. Wow, that the went better than I expected. Destroyed. I need to do something to help keep my follower alive, but eh, whatever. The meta used to be give the follower the um, item that meant that they couldn't die. But that's all changed. one. I am returning to town.
I wonder if I just lost a subscriber. The person who came in and said, have you played, f did you finish Titan Quest? And I said no. It was like, oh, probably left. This happens a lot. People subscribe because I'm playing their favourite game, and when I don't keep playing their favourite game or I play something else, they leave. Oh well. I, I'm here to play games that I'm enjoying at the moment, at the time. It's just the way it is. What the heck? My leap just failed. I'm healed. I can't carry it. The ancient grant me strength. The Hellasons, I think. All of this pointless knowledge I have in my brain. And I get it. I mean, people want to watch people play the games that they enjoy playing and the all that they know. Um, although, I'm a big fan of watching people play games that... I mean, I watch people play games that um, I don't get time to play or anything like that. Um, so there's a few games that I... I mean, I had to stop playing World of Warcraft because of my addiction level. But I still enjoy watching people play World of Warcraft. Um, I don't do it often because time is a thing. I often will have it on in the background while I'm doing something else. Um, so, and I was really enjoying Helldivers too, but I was so bad at it that people would just complain all the time so i basically stopped playing it it's it's kind of the way it was with last epoch as well it's like the game told me i wasn't good enough so i stopped playing it. and I mean, it's why i keep coming back to diablo 3 it's like i may be struggling right now i'm playing the way that most people think is a stupid way to play but the game isn't telling me to stop whereas last epoch told me to stop like the in, built into the game was basically a mechanic that was basically saying, okay, you need to stop doing this now. Um, and it wasn't fun. I'm healed. Um, I need healing. I wish I could do that. Again, Need more time. except this time I'm not going to be able to kill any of them, I don't think. some I'm overburdened I am returning to town
I need to go back. Do you see that enemy over there? Let us cleanse it from this land. I am so toast. I wish I could do that. I'm really not, because all of these elites have got that massive debuff I wish I could do that, that I means that you can't heal. Basically, I can't heal in this. I gain new strength. I am returning to town. Okay, do do do. Walls need to please don't. <laughs> Am I stuck going to be stuck here with the wall up? I think I'm doomed. Not enough to be ready. Yeah, I've got no chance of healing. That's not going to happen. This isn't a skill fight. This is just a... Did you get a lucky combo? And just an attrition fight. I'm 
Until I can get the items I need to unlock the abilities on the altar, this stuff is just impossible. And to get the items that you need, you need to do this stuff. It's just such terrible design. They've made this midpoint deliberately painful so you can get to the fun bit. And that's the problem with all ARPGs. And Last Epoch is worse than Diablo 3 at it. It is much worse at it. Last Epoch has done the mid game so badly that it's just not fun. Like, I imagine the end game is fun. I will never know. Like, the leveling experience in Last Epoch is a lot of fun. Um, like, a lot of fun. Like, really good. Um, possibly the best of any ARPG I've ever played. But you can't enter Endgame without passing certain... I mean, it's basically a vision check. Can you pass this eye test? And if you can't pass the eye test, which I can't, then it's game over. Yeah, this build, I, I would say this build is not a lot of fun until you can unlock its power at the end. The leveling of the Barbarian is not good. Um, and I don't know how you would deal with that. Set Helm. Is it going to be of the set that I'm after is the question. I need to go back. I'm hoping that is a set that I do not need. That does not seem to have... Skull of Savages. Great. Thank you. I have, I have, I have, I have, I have. So the next one is sealed. Now the next one I want is, I'm pretty certain it is this one, which is double the amount of bounty caches for which I need to do all of the key wardens. So I will go do the key wardens after I have finished this run, I suppose. I mean, I may be able to kill the two wardens. It may cause me to die a lot, but I should be able to kill the two wardens with a couple of things. Ooh, actually, killing the boss fights could be challenging, though. I may need to lower the difficulty for those. Because this build is just bad. I am badly hurt. Because until you unlock the ability to move, which I don't have, like, I'm just trapped. I can't move. So when you get trapped on this build, you're just dead. It's got no defensibility whatsoever. So why this is called a leveling build? And all of the survivability options for it. I can't pick up anything else. I need to go back. It's a very strange build. I don't know why anyone would play Barbarian.
I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, they always say level necromancer and then switch to your build. And I kind of get it. I mean, Necromancer... I ha I've had fun with Necromancer in the past. I do need to try Necromancer again. But... This was going to be the season I wanted to play Barbarian. It was just the way I wanted to be. And that's the way I roll. But this is very strange. Because this is going to be another one where there'll be wallers and there'll be jailers and there'll be get out of the AOE at the same time as you are. You know, don't get hit by the frost at the same time as you're walled in at the same time as you're... So there's don't stand in the frost. But I can't move. Like, I'm forced moving and not going anywhere. At the same time as don't get hit by the arcane. I can't leap. So I am just... Like, my... Just, and when I did leap, I didn't go anywhere. It put my leap on cooldown. And I'm not leaping as far. Even though my mouse was over the other side of the screen when I hit leap, I didn't leap that far. Can't shoot through the walls, so my abilities stop walk it working. It's messy. At least that one, I didn't get the, um, the debuff that means that I couldn't heal. Which is just instant death. I need to go back. That debuff is just insane. So there's just a chaining set of abilities that the mobs have. Like, pull in, jail, wall. I'm, I must wait longer. No, I couldn't, like... Don't get hit by any of these abilities, but you can't move. We can move you. It's crazy. I have been hit. And again, I can't move. I've got no movement. So you've just got to stand there and soak the damage. It's rough. I am returning to town. Your followers useless because they just insta die. Like I remember, like, and they're hitting me for so much. Like for a melee character, like everything hits me for massive amounts of damage like on the crusader you get a damage reduction for being melee i don't think the barbarian does i must wait longer i grow weak so you just insta die
you lose so much XP from dying because you lose your kill streak bonuses and. Returning to town. I can't move. Get out of the fire, but also don't move. This is nuts. You really need the abilities from the altar earlier on the bar. And if you didn't have the altar, how would this even be playable? I can't carry anymore. I am returning to town. The Zarian sword. No, Reimhardt. I don't think Reimhardt is going to help me. Now, Gold Wrap. is also not going to help me for now. I think I'm going to... I don't think any of this is good. Because Thunderlord's Vigor... There's something I just don't understand, obviously. Now, I want the Fields of Misery for the Key Warden. Hoping I can kill it. Volkathos, guide my hand!
the Dolga Oasis for a Key Warden. Feel like the same difficulty. The ancient smile on you. The ancient grant me strength. Cannot stand before me. He warden. I see somewhere in straight. Didn't drop a machine. Back to Act Four. Back to Act Four. I'm going back to Act Four. Face the key warden and hope it drops a machine. And all that jazz. I don't think I'm on the actual high enough torment difficulty to be getting the credits for these, so I probably should have done it at one difficulty higher, because I think I'm about to have to do them again.
infernal machine. But I think if I look here at chapter 4, I needed to do them on Torment 4 or higher. So I'm going to have to do them all again in a minute anyway. But first, a word from our sponsors. The Hovel at New Tristram. Zakarum has fallen to disgrace. Heretic's abode, okay. Do you have regrets? One down. It wasn't as easy as I wanted it to be. This is the one I'm worried about. Still recharging. Can't move. I can't move, I'm trapped, I'm completely trapped. Okay, got that one. Hey Eric. This build has not been a lot of fun, I have to say. Um, Leveling the Barbarian has been really unpleasant.
after that, the next one I want is, of course, this is the one I desperately want, for which I want Reaper's Wraps. Okay, so, Reaper's Wraps, if I remember correctly, and I'm pretty certain I do, means going and killing Malthale, which I'm not doing at this difficulty level. So what I do is I leave the game, change the game settings back to, I might be able to do it on Torment 1? Because this next one is going to be huge. The I can't move thing is going to be way more... It's going to go away the minute I can get make the Reaper's wraps. So that will make a lot of the pain I've been feeling for the last couple of hours just stop. This, of course, means that I need to defeat Malfail, which is by no means guaranteed, because this is a fight. That'll do. Please drop the plans for the Reaper's Wraps. Plan Reaper's Wraps. There we go. Thank you. Back to Tristram. So now I just need some more, because the next one is possibility. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have some new items that I'm still doing well.
Yeah, don't care. Don't care enough. Don't care enough. Got some. Don't care enough. Oh man, I so want to put those on my follower. Let's see if I can get there without using them. Yes. Just. I've had so few. I burnt way too many legendary materials. But I want that one. Thank you very much. And the next one requires a huge amount of work. So, but that's going to massively increase my survivability. The next one, though, is going to suck. But that should mean... Torment 4 now should be a breeze. Stuff will take forever to die because there doesn't seem to be any damage in this build. Ready yet. Your flesh is weak. Akan gathered the most devout, driven, and martial Zakaruma devils. He taught them to channel the power of life in the same way that the newly founded paladins were being trained. But these recruits, these crusaders, were given insight into the primal powers of Zakarum in a way no paladin ever was. And all that jazz. Okay, so next is I should keep looking for intelligence on items, but I've just been trashing stuff. Okay, so next is 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 is. Uh, level 70 Nephilim Rift on Torment 1 or higher. Well, let's go do a Nephilim Rift then. Nephilim. I wish you luck, hero.
The weird thing is knowing that when I get like another five items drop, even if they're terrible quality, just five specific items, I'm going to be able to push the torment up to like 12. <laughs> Wow, I'm getting terrible levels. Well, they may be good for this build. I don't know. I mean, I'm just having fun shooting stuff with an axe. More capos guide my hand. The ancient grant me strength. But this really does feel like the slowest sort of mid-game progression that I've ever done. Die. Because there just seems to be no damage flying around. up gems because gems are the things that I'm going to end up being incredibly starved for. But Diablo 4 Season 4, which starts in a month, that's definitely going to be something I spend a bit more time on, I think. Still recharging. That's nicer. I think we're going to die a lot less often now. Not zero, but less often. I'm still me. Well, Capos guide my hand. The ancient grant me strength.
stands before me. The Rift Guardian has found you. Still recharging. More fury. Finish a level 70 Nephilim Rift on, on Torment 1 or higher. Torment 4. Oh, I've got to hand it in. Your there we go. Reforge a weapon property to a socket at the Mystic. Okay. That's a terrible way to do it. No, I don't want to do it on the follower weapon. Yes. to Doggo or Oasis. Kill the Key Warden. Thanks, Ancients. that the Iron Wolves is going to be the theme for Diablo 4 Season 4. Crowd control apparently doesn't include being teleported. I kind of don't want to get distracted. I just want to do the keyword. There will always be more bounties. I've got to find the keyword. might come back and do that.
Boom. Because I should die less often. But I am me. There's still that huge healing debuff that I don't know how to deal with. I grow stronger. Still coming close to death. I must wait longer. Man, how do I avoid all of this? I need aid. Whoa, that is not a good combo of bosses. Because one hit from him and I am dead. I 
wish I could do that. Too much damage! I need aid. There's no armor or survivability. The the fact that barbarians are so damn squishy. I wish I could do that. At least I'm not constantly getting trapped anymore, but there's just no survivability on these things. You cannot stand before me. God, what's going on? I'm not even back and they're dead. I can't pick up anything else. I am returning to town. I don't even know what's going on. Everything is going insane. Doesn't our friend ever tire? I've hardly seen him rest since we met. Now you know what. New goods today. Please look. You won't be disappointed. The squirts again. Oh no. Ooh, that's a flavor of time. Definitely doing worse than in every other season I've ever played. I'm not sure if that's the Barbarian or something else. I I really, wow, this is crazy. There's no survivability on the Barbarian. I don't understand it. I can't carry you. Cathos guides by hand. I can't pick up anything else. I can't even remember what I played last season. Did I go back to Crusade? It's possible. 
I know the season before I level Witch Doctor. At some point I want to try Rogue again as well. I played Rogue a lot early on. Like, a lot. But again, the rogue build I enjoyed got removed from the game. Seems to be a thing. It's <laughs> builds that I enjoy get removed. Need more time. Overburdened. I am returning to town. Wow. That's not dodge stuff. That's just, there's no de defenses on this guy. How this is supposed to end up being an end game build when everything is a one shot, particularly when one of the items for the build is healing. that you take more damage. One of the problems I have with the builds and the design of the builds for games like this, and it was the same with Last Epoch, it's the same in Diablo 3, it's the same in Diablo 4, is the, pe the people who put the build guides together. And if you don't follow a build guide, the game is pretty much unplayable. But the people who put the build guides together don't explain their build guides. Like, why is it that the math works? Why is it that else. you go from doing millions of damage to trillions of damage when you take a bonus that is a does 50% more damage? Because millions to trillions is not 50% more. So why does that work? And they never explain it. So you go into this situation with, I can never try and improve what I'm doing or try and alter the state of how I'm playing the game because the math is just wrong.
What the heck was I doing? I was killing key wardens. Actually, just, just head back to Tristan. Yeah, I've got to head to Stoneford. And there's no description on these of why is this build survivable? Like, what is it about this build? that means that it work I, like what makes the build work what makes the build survivable Why am I not seeing a keyword in the map? I need to kill the keyword, and normally there's a purple. Oh, there it is. Capos guide my hand. The ancient grant me strength.
More Key Warden. Need more Key Warden. It's like need more cow level. What? I told you to go to New Tristram. There we go. Next. Queen Arene. Okay, we can do Queen Arene. The walls still stop my attacks though, which is a little... makes things a little challenging. You wilt against my blows. Well, it's better than blowing against my wilt, I suppose. I kind of want to, don't I? I really do. This is where I get loot. Still recharging. I will not be denied. Actually, not do a Rene. I might finish after this. I had puzzles to record today. You cannot stand before me. So this is where the loot comes from, but I'm not getting a lot, am I? I am being 
remarkably unlucky loot-wise this season. Oh, oh, the blooming got the stupid debuff again. Dumb necrosis diva. Ah, uh, there's going to be bosses in here, isn't there? There's another boss in here somewhere. I'm glad I didn't get a binder while fighting the others, because man, youch. to town. Oof. Another three boss level. I'm just going to teleport on top of you and kill you. Please use a defensive ability of which you don't have any. Like, there is defensive abilities in, in the class, but they're on massive cooldowns and you have to use it before you get hit. I must 
wait longer. Help return. Still recharging. I need to get that guy down and this guy if I can. Because I'm, he's standing on stairs, and I don't know how to get it. Now he's teleported away from the stairs. But while he was standing on the stairs, I couldn't, again, movement. So I was trying to move away from where he was going to hit with the slam. But there's no survivability. There's no way of... I'd heard there's no changes being made to this game. But it feels very different. Like, I don't remember the debuff. That is causing me to not be able to heal. This is nuts. Now I've got to find the mob that opens the portal. This is not the game I remember. Maybe it's just Barbarian. Maybe it's just Barbarian is terrible. But the difference between the boss mobs and the normal mobs, look at it. It's like these guys go down like butter. Kinda. I mean, these guys have a huge amount of armor. These always took a while. But... I, I don't get it. I... When I read up on Barbarian, I... I do remember reading it was like this is all incredibly gear dependent but I didn't realize the build with the class was completely unplayable without the right items I can't carry well it anymore. I need to go back going to progress the progression through the mid game is going to be way too long I mean, I'd love to know what is a good Barbarian build for this mid-game, where you're trying to push up to a Torment level where you can start getting the items you need, need and you just don't I die all the time. 
Like, there's got to be one. I mean, there's got to be people who play Barbarian Hardcore. But uh, would they, like, even... Do they have to, like, play normal difficulty for 30 hours to get to Par... Well, more than 30 hours. It'd be hundreds of hours to get to, like... Paragon 100 or something. I, I don't understand. Or would they play a purely defensive build, which means they wouldn't be doing anywhere near this amount of damage and they would just be toast. But see that? That's a single attack from a mob and I am to and I'm dead. And if you face more than one mob, you're just dead. And I'm running with defensive stats. I've lowered my damage to put defensive stats up. Ready. And again, I've got this Bloomin' Healing debuff, which means I can't heal. Everything is doing damage to me, but there's no healing in the game. I wish I could do that. And yet the way to get rid of it is to heal. I am badly hurt. I can't pick up anything else. I am returning to town. I don't... I'm really, really confused. I mean, the good thing about it is every to town. Diablo 3 build is, or every Diablo 3 class is a very, very different game. But why would it be so fundamentally broken? I, I just, I'd love someone to be able to say, okay, here's what you play at this level, or here's how you get through it, because this is nuts. Because again, I've got this necrosis debuff and I can't heal. There is no healing. Like, I've been healed, but I went up a couple of percent. So with all of this damage flying around... See, I pick up these health globes... And they I grow stronger. Because this necrosis debuff, healing reduced by 65%, and it goes away when you heal over 95%. So you need to heal yourself to three times your full health. So if you've got enough health to survive, and it drains your life at 3% per tick. So if you've got enough health to survive, you, you're committing suicide because you can't heal anymore. I'm overburdened. I need to go back. Don't understand. I mean, the cool thing is I'm starting to get more legendaries, but the question is, am I getting the right ones? And the answer seems to be no. I 
And again, necrosis. So I can't heal. Okay, that's a good thing for me. It just got close to me, started its hit animation, and my health went down massively. And I can't heal. What the hell? I'm hurt. I'm healed. Except I wasn't. I picked up a health globe, and it made no difference whatsoever. So the way to heal is to die. So that'll put me back on full health. Because there's no other way of doing it. I need fury. And again, I can't heal again. I'm so I'm already back at no healing. I took out dozens of these mobs before. Like, when I entered this thing, I took out quite a few of these mobs. And now they're not taking any damage Help again. Returns. What's changing? I can't carry any more. I am returning to town. <sighs> I don't get what's changing. And I don't know that I killed the mobs. I think they just despawned. You See, I've got necrosis again. So these mobs are constantly putting on this necrosis debuff, which means you can't heal. And sometimes I take no damage, and then I'll be down to a single mob, and I can't say a lie. I wish I could do that. So that mob was there before, while I had ten other mobs, and I was taking no damage. I don't understand this. I can't pick up anything else. I am returning to town. I don't understand. I know there's one ability I've got that gives me survivability and stuff, and when it's on cooldown, I'm doing fine, but I'm... isn't it? I'm just running out of space. This is crazy and not fun. I don't want to use... 
So of all the potions I could have got, that's the one I didn't want. that surround me ignore my greatness and then kill me first the horodrum those plodding fools then the nephilim imagine if that one had listened we would have angels and demons for servants we'd be riding them like horses perhaps i'm being unkind it's not that their minds are I don't, I don't understand. it's just that mine is so large. I've gained new power. I can't heal. Not a fun way to play the game, but it's the only way I seem to have. I'm overburdened. I need to go back.
can't carry anymore. I need to go back. Yeah, mm. I don't want to just give up and re-roll a class that I know I play all the time. I'm not getting enough death's breaths to do the um, the upgrades because I'm not getting the items to get to the difficulty where I'm getting the items to be able to push up to yeah I I, I don't know what to do I really don't know what to do Because normally in like a few hours of play, I've got to like Paragon 200 and I'm stuck at like in the seven, I'm stuck at 70 because I just can't progress. I can't push up the difficulty because there's no defenses in any of this. I don't know. I don't know what to do. And this number should be... Like, this is good toughness. My armor is terrible. But my damage is just ridiculously low. And I'm just not high enough to be getting the items at the level that I need to be able to just keep the cycle going. The cycle is, like, frozen. I don't get barbarian. Oh, I'm going to end this and, I don't know, maybe I'll come back? I've been really looking forward to this season. Like, really looking forward to this season. And it's just feeling dead. I don't know. Thanks, everyone. Um, catch you later.